Dave McMenamin reporting that Jason Kidd interviewed with Rob Palenka and Kurt Rambis for the Lakers head coaching vacancy on Monday. That's according to league sources. Jason was here on set just a couple weeks back and he actually caught a lot of heat because right here he expressed his interest in the Lakers job even though Luke Walton still held it. Is the Lakers job still, regardless you know, of, of whoever is in it or not in, is it, is it still a desirable thing to coach in Los Angeles? I think when you look at the Lakers as a whole, it's it's a franchise that is uh, one of the best in the world, not just you know in the NBA, but the world. And and so, if you ever have the opportunity to wear the purple and gold, you you can't turn that down um, as a coach, as a player, um, because they're all about championships. So clearly, he mm -hmm. will say yes if offered. Do you guys think, Paul, that he'll be a good I like, fit for I don't, the Lakers? I don't know if he'll be a good fit, but I like the direction they're going. You know, I like the fact that you, you're interviewing player coaches, uh, Ty Lue, Jason Kidd, Monty Williams, guys I think LeBron can have some respect for. So whether it's Lou, whether it's Monty, whether it's Jay Kidd, or even Jawan Howard, I like the direction and what they're go which they're going in and trying to hire a coach. Yeah, no, I, I think there's a common thread here, and those all those guys on that list are very direct, communicators, mm -hmm. straight shooters. We talked about this before with David Griffin, that one of the reasons why Ty Lue was picked to lead the Cavs was because he was a guy that told LeBron what he needed to hear, not what he wanted to hear. And that's a huge thing. And if you've got LeBron David on your team, that's got to be a priority. Mm -hmm. And then secondarily, I know it's fun on the internet to kill Jason Kidd, but oh, what a terrible coach he was. And look at what Bud's done. But one of the things that he doesn't get enough credit for is development. Right. Developing Giannis, developing a lot of those young players on the team who will tell you that. They say thank you to Coach Kidd for helping us become the players that we are today. No, the, the Bucs situation is a paradox because remember, Giannis was upset when Jason yeah. Kidd was mm -hmm. let go there to the point of, you know, <clears throat> trying to go to them and being like, maybe don't do yeah. this. But then it's clear that coaching is what part of what's elevated that but team to the next level. A different facet of coaching, right? Yes. X's and O's is different from player development. It's different from communication. But LeBron James is not looking for player development, even though, of course, some well, of those young guys are. I'm just saying it's nuanced. It's a complicated it, it, there's thing. A lot of Paul, you parts, played yeah. for Jason Kidd mm -hmm. in Brooklyn. What was it like to be coached by him? You know, he's come a long way. Because I remember <laughs> when he first got there, he didn't draw up the plays. And so, you know, it was all new to him. He just kind of retired and jumped into coaching. But I know he's come a long way. Jason Kidd is somebody I had tremendous respect for. So at the beginning of the play. season, he the wasn't drawing was rough. He wasn't drawing up plays for you guys. No, we had a we had a Lawrence Frank or who was no we had assistant Pruny mm -hmm. was, Pruny, was yeah. our offensive coach. We had a defensive coach. Kidd is a motivator. Mm -hmm. You know, Kidd is a good talker. He's a leader. But as the season went on, he started grasping that concept of late game situations as a point guard. He, he'll pick it up, right. and he did. Right. And again, like that's. Just one part, and we talked about when you have LeBron James, you said player development isn't as big a deal. I'll tell you what, X's and O's isn't as big a deal because what? LeBron, you got the ball. Shooters out there. <laughs> right. That's that's the, the bare bones of your offense. Although I do think that's something Ty Lue doesn't get enough credit for is that he is an X's and O coach. Yes. And the adjustments not only between games of series but in game that he made over the course of those series with the Warriors and game the seven. finals. Right? I mean, he, I. He outcoached Steve Kerr in game seven. I, I, I think that's something people need to pay more attention to that, yes, his relationship with LeBron and, and his past is obviously something that would recommend him for this job, but I think that's a pretty big deal, too.